What do you hear? What do you say? This is Vertigo bringing you another live commentary video. Today I am playing Cooking Simulator, where I am going to show you guys the art of cuisine. I, in reality, am a great chef, as Tanko can attest to. So we're going to use the skills that I have learned in reality to show you guys how Cooking Simulator can be an easy yet effective way to learn the art of the grill. First thing we need to do is we need to find out what the customer wants. Any orders coming through? Here we go. We got tomato soup. Excellent. My specialty. All right. First thing we're going to do is get out the knife, the good old knife, and we'll just chuck it there. Fucking son of a bitch. We're going to place it here. There we go. All right. We need some tomatoes. So we're going to grab tomato. There we go. Just throw it on the, the counter here. Fuck. Um, another thing that you need for tomato soup is onions. Onions are good. Onions add a nice uh, tangy texture and flavoring to uh, the meal. Sunflower oil, yeah, we need some oil. Salt, yep, yep, salt's gonna be very important. We need, we need something out of the fridge, that's what we need. Something out of the fridge. Uh, sour cream, chicken broth. Oh, we need the sour cream. Sour cream to thicken the soup. Good, 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 good. So we need a, we need a, we, we don't need this. We need a pan. This thing, it's a saucepan, a big pot. Okay, now let's prepare this. All right, first thing we're gonna do is grab the tomatoes, place them on the chopping board. Just like so, just like so. Excellent. You get your knife and you slice them. Just like that. There you go. Just give them a good old cut and chop. Doesn't really matter what kind of shape they're in. You, uh, you grab the tomato, just chuck the tomato in the pot. Aha! Okay, we got most of it in there. That's totally good. That's good stuff. Time is of the essence. We get the sour cream and we pour the sour cream in to the, uh, the pot here. Sour cream and tomato. Yes, yes, very good. Uh, yep, yeah, we don't need this anymore. Now we get the onion. Chop. We don't need all the onions, but we need most of it. Okay. Once you've done that, you can discard the board uh, and then bring the pot over to the sink where we're going to fill uh, with, some, uh, with some water here. That's enough. So we've got a mixture of tomato, onion, cream, and tomato. All right. Now we take this pot and we put it over the heat. We'll just let that simmer uh, and we'll add some salt. Just like that. Uh, a little bit of sunflower oil. Just like that. That's enough oil. All right. Now, we got a minute and 10 seconds to create the soup. So what we need to do is we need to find the blender. Blender, blender. There it is. Okay. Now that you've uh, you've cooked... Actually, we, won't have enough, we don't have enough time for the blender. Uh, so we're going to use this. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. Cancel that. We need a bowl. Bowl, 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 bowl. Okay, basic bowl. Basic bowl. Get the soup. Bring it over to the bowl. Pour it in. Fucking pour it in. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck! Fuck! Ugh. Um. We need a towel. Oh, f okay. Yeah, uh. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> new okay, we got a new order. Okay, fuck. Okay, fuck the soup. We don't need that. We need to do the uh, the salmon steak and boiled potato. Okay, this this is my kind of fuck the soup, man. The food, the soup, no trash. Soup, excellent. My specialty. Okay, what we need? We need some salmon, potato, water. Okay, water. Oh yes, I know how to do this. I've done this before. This is actually something I've cooked in reality for Sarah, uh, and she gave me great raving reviews. So, this is something we're definitely equipped for. Uh, first thing they do is bring the salmon out, get the salmon, place it on the board, a couple of potatoes, and we'll just take them over to the sink. Come on, you bitch. Excellent. Get that pan nice and hot because uh, it's very, very important. Okay, boiled potatoes, add to a pot, water, salt, potato. Yeah, so we don't need to peel it. 
That's easy. This is easy. Turn this on. Place the potatoes in the water. Just like so. 20 grams of salt. It's going well now. It's going well. Uh, 20 grams of salt. Boil for 120 seconds. It's been about... Uh, it's been about, what, 20 seconds? So we need 100 seconds. Grease that pan. Grease the skillet. Once you've greased the skillet... Um... Grab the, the salmon fillet and place it in the pan. There we go. Hear that sizzle? Quality. Quality stuff. You can use the timer here to get a, a, an idea of how long you are cooking. So you want to cook the fillet for about 60 seconds. 60 seconds, no more. Because if you start overcooking the fish, it's going to get a little tough and chewy and no one wants any of that. We are now going to grab the potatoes. There we go. And how we flip this. Rotate. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. It's going really well. Really well. Alright, cook that for another about 40 to 50 seconds. Okay, this is going to be perfect. Here we go. Here we go. Nice and easy. Aha! A little bit of salt. Doesn't hurt anybody. Alright. You want to rotate the water out of the pot. Potatoes. Get on the fucking plate. There we go. Add a little bit of salt onto the potatoes. A little bit of salt. Uh, how long have we got? Eight seconds. Okay. Now bring the plate over to the order. Boom. Put it in there. And what do we get here? Oh, ho, ho. there you go, boys. There you go. Three and a half stars, a solid juicy score, but guess what, Realize, realization time? Five fucking stars. Didn't you? Yes, Sarah? Hey, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. You should probably do the tutorial. Why? I passed. What, what do you mean? How am I, why are you asking me to do the tutorial when I passed? I it? think you should do the tutorial. No, I refuse. Bitch boys! That's who read tutorials, bitch boys! And god knows I ain't no bitch boy, alright? You wanna you wanna watch a bitch boy? There's plenty of them out there doing their little tutorials. Oh, oh I'm so scared. Oh I'm in the kitchen. How do I cook a salmon? No, no, I did it. Okay, did we did we cook a salmon? We cooked a salmon with no fucking help. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Vertigo, why are you talking so much shit? All you made was salmon and boiled potatoes. And that's understandable, but I'm going to prove you wrong, and I'm going to show you just how qualified and how good I am in the kitchen. So I've entered sandbox mode, where I have access to all fruits and vegetables, seasonings and liquids, herbs, mints, rosemaries, and probably weed, and a fridge full of meats, beef, pork, fish, and... Moldy cheese. I also have access to brand new equipment. Gas. That's gonna go, that's, yeah, <laughs> nothing can go wrong there. Ovens that, uh, I don't know. We, it's, a, it's a chamber oven. The deep fry basket and the classic microwave. Using all these new amazing things, I am gonna cook up my own original, uh, original recipe. I'm gonna call it the vert meal. So get out a pen and notepad and write down this recipe because you can make this at home. The first thing we need is uh, a meat. Now, if you talk to my girlfriend, Sarah, she will tell you that the best meal that I make, hands down, is definitely duck. So we're gonna grab a duck breast. That's gonna be our signature meat. We're gonna put that on the board uh, and let that get to room temperature. But we're going to put a little twist on this recipe, so we're going to uh, add a couple shrimps. Because I'm Australian, and you know, shrimp on the barbie, you know. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep the cliches going here. We're also going to use some cheddar cheese. Uh, cheddar cheese, uh, we don't know how much we're going to use yet, so just buy 150 grams of cheddar cheese. A big old pumpkin, some salt, pepper, dried garlic, chili flakes, cumin powder, and curry powder. Now that you have all these basic ingredients, we can start. First thing we're going to focus on is the pumpkin. We want to get that pumpkin nice and toasty. It's going to take a little bit longer to cook than the duck breast. So we're going to get started on the pumpkin right now. Turn the oven on. Get yourself a baking tray. Chop this sucker up. 
into nice, evenly sliced portions. Now we want to season the pumpkin. Curry powder, the cumin, salt, pepper, and a tiny bit of chili flakes to give it a little bit of a kick. Once you've done that, transfer the pumpkin onto a baking tray and give it a little drizzle of olive oil. Place in the oven and cook. While that's cooking, we're going to start on the duck. Now, the duck is a very difficult meat to cook because, uh, you know, it's a bit, a bit challenging. It's not for everybody. Uh, you need to be quite advanced to, uh, to know what you're doing. Uh, first thing you need to do is season. And a little bit of garlic. Now, very, very important. You want to cook the duck skin side down. God, it looks like fucking coal. Okay, it's, it's okay. It's totally, totally good. That meal didn't go quite according to plan. But listen, the recipe's still there. You got the recipe, you just gotta make sure you don't fucking, you, you don't burn it, okay? Other than that, it, it worked out alright. Maybe I should have used this oven. I don't even know what it does. What is this, one of those air cookers? I'll never again put a fire extinguisher into the oven chamber. Much is happening. It's kind of anticlimactic. Hmm. I'm pretty satisfied. I'm